Hey, what's up? This is Milos. On this video, I want to show you the basics with HTML Box Pro for PrestaShop. So, it's probably your first time with Module, so open the Module configuration page. And here you can find three sections. If it's your fresh installation, of the module, please go to upgrade check section. Module will check the installation of the module and if something will be wrong with it, you will see a report about it here. But no worries, if something will be wrong, module will automatically fix all problems with installation. So, on module configuration page, you've got three sections, settings, boxes and upgrade check section. Let me explain what settings section contains. You've got here two options. Mm, these options are global for each box that you will create in, with this module first option is an option to enable or disable rich text editor by default so i want to use rich text editor so i selected here no second option is to prevent removing urls from images let me explain what this function mean in some cases and in some installation of PrestaShop, Rich Text Editor removes the domain name from URL. If you will enable this option, my module will not remove the domain name from URLs in Rich Text Editor. If you will select here no, my module will remove the domain name from all URLs that you will use in Rich Text Editor. So, in second section named Boxes, you can add or manage the boxes you created in your store and of course you can also add here new hooks. On the left hand side you've got list of all default visible hooks in your shop. If some hooks aren't present here you can add them here. So for example mm, I will create totally new hook name for example hook by miles and if you will click on add hook Module will create this new hook in PrestaShop and Module also will modify the mm, module file to support this new hook. The list of new hooks created by you, you can find at the bottom of the left hand column. So, I will now show you the basics with management of the hooks and boxes. To enable visibility of the hook just click on this checkbox. If checkbox is checked this means that top hook boxes will appear in your front office. If you will unselect this hook all boxes that you created for this hook will disappear from front office but of course you can still manage the, the boxes you created for this hook. To add new block to the hook is enough to click on this green add. So let's create some test hook by test block by Milos and enter here some contents. 
is example of the content to create new new block is enough to click on save block button to manage all boxes you created in hooks is enough to click on this button to roll out all boxes that you created for hook to change position of the block you created is enough to just drag and drop the box to the new position to edit block is enough to click on this edit button and if you want to remove some block is enough to click on this delete button module will remove this block you can also manage the visibility of each block the process is the same as for hooks is enough to select or deselect the checkbox if checkbox is selected this means that block will appear in your front office if checkbox isn't selected this means that selected block will not appear in your front office I forget about one important thing related to custom hooks if you will have troubles with um, appearance of the hook in your front office just click on regenerate now button you will see here a report about um, and this action if you will get some troubles module will explain here the way of how you can solve the problem with custom hooks well it's mm, enough about this model but of course if you've got some questions don't afraid just <laughs> write to me to support myprestad.eu Bye.